Hi, this video is for my friends Trevor and Dion because um, this today during class um, we were sitting next to each other. I don't even know if it was during class. I don't really know. But anyway, we we're sitting next to each other and Trevor was like, Karen, I want to know how you make videos. And then Dion was like, yeah, how do you do that? And so I figured maybe I would just make a tutorial for them. And basically Trevor wants to know how I can take a video and I can go from here all the way over here. And Dion wants to know how I can take a video, add music to it, and speed it up so it's kind of all montage -y. Like this. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and learn how to do that now. Okay, I'm recording this on my webcam, so you probably can't really see anything, but I'll talk you through it. And I use Windows XP, and I don't really know what you guys have, but you're going to go to the Start menu and you're going to go to all programs and then on my screen you can see like I have all this crap and then there should be um, a program that says Windows Movie Maker and I think if you don't have it just listed there you can go to accessories I think it's somewhere in there but um, you should have it on your computer and if you don't have it on your computer you can always download it too when you open Windows Movie Maker, it probably looks like this. You're going to want to come over here and click where it says Show Timeline, because for me that's easier to edit videos. I don't really know how to do it on storyboard. Um, you're going to, if this shows up, then you could always click on Tasks, which is up here, and you press Import Videos. So you're going to press that, and um, basically go wherever you have videos. I'm just going to go ahead and open the video that I just made. And um, my computer is really slow, so this is probably going to take like a year. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for it to import. Okay, and see, it's done importing now. So I have all, it's like, it chopped my video up in different parts. Alright, so you can just click on whatever part you want to listen to. And then I'll just take this chunk, and I'll put it, I'll drag it down here where it says video. And then I'll play it, and then here, here. And then, okay, I'll stop it wherever I want that scene to end. And then, um, over here where the video plays, there should be an icon right here. And um, if you hover over it, it says split this clip into two clips. And then you're going to want to press that. And you can see that it splits your video into two different videos. Um, and so, so you have this part the first part and then now you have this part but you're going to want to cut out the middle part basically and so you're going to play it and then you're going to pause it right before you want it to play again and press this button again and then the middle chunk in here you can just delete it and you, when you stop you can replay the video so here all the way over here basically that's how you do it um, the next thing, Dion wants to know how to make things really fast and then add music to them. But if you want to know how to import music, go to where it says Tasks. And then right under number one, it says Import Audio or Music. You can click that and basically pick whatever song you want. Um, here, I'll just pick this song for now. And then I'll import a video. Here, what is that video? the video that I imported previously. Um, basically how this works, if you're going to use the whole video, which I would recommend, ugh, I would recommend, you can just highlight all of them, right click, and press where it says combine, so it makes it one whole video. And so you can just drag it in there, and the whole video is there. And um, for these, I like to mute them, because if you don't mute them, it plays this weird, fast audio. So right next to where it says video, there's a little plus sign. You're going to click the plus sign, and then the audio for that video will show up. So you right click that, and you go up to where it says mute. And it'll just make the whole thing quiet, so where I should be talking, I'm not talking anymore, obviously. And um, to speed it up, you can go ahead and click the minus button, or the plus button again, and it'll go away. It doesn't really matter. You can go where it says video effects. There's a bunch of video effects, but the one we're going to use is speed up. And you can add one. Like if you just do it once, it makes it so it's all speedy. But if you want it really fast, you can add as many as you want, basically. For this, I'll just add like two more. 
So it's going to speed it up three times. So now this video that was originally a minute long is now seven seconds long. And you can see it's really fast and it freezes when it plays, but that's okay. Um, then we're going to go back to wherever the music was. And if you can just add the music basically whenever you want. Um, but if you don't want that, you can always like play the music and say you don't want the beginning part, you just want to cut it in half. You can you can go where that is and the button the button over here that we use to cut Trevor's video, you can click that and it cuts the music in part. So you can just delete this part and basically drag this all the way to the end. Just hold it click it and hold it and drag it down and then um, if you go to the end of the music this little red thing shows up and you click that and then you can drag the music to wherever you want it to end basically we have all this right and then I'm gonna go to file and it says save movie file and you click that and you're gonna wanna click where it says my computer and you press next and then you can title it whether I'll just title it title it Dion and then press next again and then next again and it saves your video. This may take a while but sometimes if your video is long. But see this video is really short so it'll be faster. When the movie is done saving this window will pop up and you can click where it says play movie when I click finish. You just check that box and press finish and then your movie should pop up. And so this is the finalized video. <laughs> So that's how you do that. So I hope that video was kind of helpful. Um, I know it's probably really confusing, but if you just open Windows Movie Maker and just like mess around with it like I do, um, you learn a lot of stuff. And you can also Google a bunch of stuff too, and there's probably better tutorials out there. Okay, bye!